I've got a couple things going on with regard to. Um, you been enjoying today? Am I enjoying today? No. Oh yeah. A lot of great insights today that have been you like where you're vibrationally sitting is our question because what you come often wanting to talk about really moves around as a day like this happens and so we want to talk to you where you are okay not where you were yeah so what's up <laughs> okay um <laughs> Well, it's just a little comparison. I, I'm loving where my awareness. But see, what awareness. you wanted to do, you wanted to tell a story that no longer applies, <laughs> and okay. so busted. <laughs> so when we call these seminars co-creating at best, what we mean is that you move with the energy and you join the perspective of your inner being. Often, when we visit with someone for a little bit they'll ask a question and then we'll talk for a while and then their vibration rises and they see it differently and then we say now ask that question again and they can't they can't even find it and that's really already what's happened to you so it really is what already has happened to you okay so <laughs> so get out <laughs> now but here's the thing that I notice and we're talking about mood a minute ago I am in a career where I'm around a lot of people and I am the influencer if you will with regard to music and ensembles and I'm finding myself in a place where I'm very Abraham's always in my head when I'm walking around talking I'm always feeling like I'm in concert with you and I'll walk into a room or we'll and I'm relying on other leaders to do their part and I find I get off my game if I observe that thinking that's a valuable component to the success of things you know and it's kind of like I think I, every time I come to an event here I notice your sound guys doing their thing your filmers doing their thing your staff is very efficient everything is a very well oiled machine and so what would you do if you're finding somebody not doing what they say they're supposed to do or if they're not in alignment with your agreement or your how to have that conversation well, with somebody. it's natural that you would take the bump that you would have the knee-jerk response to it it's not out of alignment to then take some sort of action to remedy that because that feels like the quickest way to go about that but look at it from this standpoint we're going to dramatize this and we're going to fabricate a situation and you're going to get what we're talking about so let's say that you have a business and you have several people helping you in it you like them all but someone is stealing from you started out insignificant but they're getting braver and braver and so they're stealing from you and it's not putting your business under it is not going to really upset your apple cart that much but it is out of vibrational harmony with who you are who you believe they are there is discord there feel the difference in these scenarios of you being suspicious of it and making everybody uncomfortable as you sniff around or you just trusting that well-being is always yours and that things are always working out for you and that your inner being is aware of what you want and what your intentions are and is guiding you guiding everything really to the perfect unfolding and so you get an impulse to go somewhere that you usually don't go and you walk right in and there it is right in front of you right in front of you and so then you say well this is not a vibrational match I love you but this is not a vibrational match because you've allowed the universe to give you the clarity that you needed because until you've got that clarity your sensing isn't clarity enough you don't want it to be but you think it is but you don't want it to be but you think it is but you don't want it to be so your observation of this is causing split energy within you where if you keep focusing on things that feel good to you if you keep giving everyone the benefit of the doubt if there is something that is really out of alignment your inner being will guide you to a situation where with enormous clarity you will know and you're not there you don't have that enormous clarity and that's why it feels like don't want to do this don't want to do this does this make sense to you because your inner being is not only rooting for your well-being but for everyone else's as well 
and wanting the best possible scenario. And so whatever you need to know in order to make the decisions, Oh, hear this. Your inner being is guiding you toward clarity at all times. So your inner being is encouraging situations that produce clarity. Oh, doesn't that sound different than your inner being thinks that you should just be blissfully happy every moment of every day. Your inner being is guiding you consistently toward things that will produce clarity within you because clarity is satisfying, isn't it? And confusion certainly isn't. Ambivalence isn't. Indecision is so unpleasant and decisiveness is so pleasant. And so if you feel indecisive about something, then you need to give it a little more time to get more ready to be ready to be ready. And everything that happens, if you see someone slacking off, if they're not showing up on time, if they're not keeping their commitments, if they're not doing a good job, then every time that happens, what you do want goes into your vortex. So then what happens is the discord in them becomes more evident. They're doing that. You want this. They're doing that. You want this. You're doing that. You want this. And eventually, if you you are in tune with all of this you'll be guided to the clarity of being able to see crystal clear with no feeling of anything out of alignment that this just isn't a vibrational match for a long time we called this gathering the science of deliberate creation which was a really good name because science indicates the ongoing unfolding of it and deliberate you want to be deliberate and creation can't stop that but humans took it too seriously and you try to suck your thoughts back and then we began calling it the art of allowing well, there was a little confusion for some people in that too, because they think that the art of allowing means that anybody can just do anything and you'll just suck it up and allow it. Like it was the law of tolerating, <laughs> but it is the art of allowing. What does that mean? The art of allowing you to be in the most concert with the most of who you are the most of the time, the art of allowing your clarity, your connection, your alignment, your insight, your brilliance, your timing. And so if that's what you care about, everything has to work out. It's like our friend said, so if I'm just following my blues, everything will work out. If you are reaching for the thoughts that feel the best to you, everything that is important for what you are doing will be shown to you. Doesn't that clarify a lot? Is every person that you are working with or moving through time with, is everyone really a good vibrational match for you? No, but isn't the contrasting experience helping you to identify more clearly and isn't alignment with what you want then going to give you the clarity so that these manifestations can start shaping up in a way that will please you one of the things that we've noticed about all of you is that you could have someone in your life that is really not a vibrational match because you really don't understand what your receptive mode is and what you're being inspired to do you hold off on doing what is the best vibrational match for all the wrong reasons and you don't help yourself and you don't help them if somebody's not a vibrational match then the universe is working to deliver them somewhere else too you see what we're getting at that was clarity on another subject yes <laughs> um, okay enough uh, yeah but can i ask about i gotta make a note here because i did you follow all of that is that helpful to you we're not asking you to divorce everybody and leave your children on the curb and fire everybody. That's not what this was about, but we do want you to give yourself a break and to trust that the way you feel matters and then to pay attention to what receiving mode you're in when you get those impulses. Because if you're angry about something, that's the wrong receiving mode. But if you are really tuned in and you just feel you're being guided towards something. And then when you get there, something is really obvious to you. You've been guided. You've been guided. It's the anger thing, but the last two months, I've got this button that's shown up about being angry, and it's in my observing others not doing what they say they're going to do. And it's like, Ugh. and that, that throws me off. Well, my... that means that you believe still, and most humans do, that your power is in controlling others. And we get that because as the orchestrator of the music, you're making a lot of choices and what you think matters. And when people follow it, it goes along very nicely. But what you're wanting to orchestrate are cooperative components. And many of them have good ideas too. It is a little bit of a control issue. And when you have a control issue, it's because you believe that you must control the conditions in order for things to go well. The condition or the agreed, agreed upon plan where we all said we're going to move towards this and this is what we're going to do and they're not doing what they say they're going but to. here's the thing about agreed upon plans and it is the reason that we began with you as you took the seat here 
when you came you sort of had an agreed upon plan with yourself about what you wanted to talk with us about but that agreed upon plan changed even while we were all in this room together and so agreed upon plans are morphing constantly that's what co-creative experience is all about now we're not saying that sometimes somebody can't be way way off but you'll know when you get there you'll know when you get there and so just give it a little bit of time so that you're certain of what receiving mode you're in in other words here's a good way to look at this because you're talking about this anger bell keeps ringing so here's a really good way to look at this well, you're really gonna like this too <laughs> it's obvious to you if your satisfaction factor is just like off the charts if you're just feeling so good about so many things and you get an impulse like that you can count on it but if you're pretty much mad at everything and everyone then you might want to chill for a little bit because you can't fire your way into alignment yeah I get that and I'm not saying this is all the time this is just with people who are technically my boss it's like oh okay I'm having to not having I'm just noticing that my clarity through this work and this awareness people come to me for the questions well what do you think we should do with this and I said oh this is what I would do or we can talk about this and I feel like I'm out of order in my conversation well, with what being a deliberate creator is really all about is creating an environment in which you can receive good ideas when you get into your vehicle you can't have had enough driver's training experience all those years ago to be an expert for everything that's going to come up you've got to be in an environment where you've got broader perspective about things where you sense what's going on around you you see what we're getting at and so it's about having created the environment the vibrational environment within myself to be ready to ebb and flow with the other things that are coming to me and that's really different than policies and rules and making decisions things always must change if things aren't changing there's never any satisfaction I agree with I, I agree with that wholeheartedly this is all in regards to like recently agreed upon plan again it's plans. Give us an example okay. uh -huh. if you want to uh, yeah I mean I've got an, somebody that I work with that we're gonna put up advertising plan together or a marketing plan together and it's like well where are you on the plan oh well we haven't gotten to it yet or oh it's this or it's that and it's like damn it we're running against the clock in terms of we've got to get this out to market we've got to get our so what if you said something like well I know how that is inspiration is not something that is Johnny on the spot inspiration is something that you have to be ready for and maybe you've been focused upon enough action things maybe you've had your nose to the grindstone too much or maybe you've been distracted by other things so that you haven't allowed enough momentum to get going I know how that is sometimes I have to prime my pump too but I'm eager for your pump to get primed and I'm eager for you to get focused upon this because I believe that you have the ability to receive some really good ideas and I'm so looking forward to getting them now feel how what you just did you primed their pump a little bit because you were prepared for that you were in alignment you hadn't lost track of your vision and so you were influential in allowing it and then when someone who really wants all of that comes into a conversation with someone like you who really believes in all of that because this person is good at this so their pump is primed then ideas begin flowing to them and then off you go but if you're stuck in that you're not doing what you said you would do and we had an agreement and you're not sticking to the agreement now you're influencing them to the same disappointment that they have about themselves because they want their pump to be primed they want to be tuned in tapped in turned on they like that creative flow coming through them they're not happy that it isn't flowing any either they don't want to have that conversation with you either they've been avoiding you because they don't want to have that conversation but you can help them but only if you're in alignment before you speak. I just realized the disconnect I was having that in order for the things to manifest, those things had to be done that way rather than my awareness of how to influence the ongoing conversation. What you want to influence is the inspiration in those around you. Right. Not just myself, but in others around me. Yeah. As a deliberate creator, it's easy to think, oh, I'm the only one that can create here. And so I will create and I will dictate to you. And so you just tune into me and you just do what I say. Well, there's no satisfaction in that. Before long, they all want to go start their own businesses. They don't want to play with you. Creators have to create. It's just in specific little pockets where it's not happening. You've got it going on. We just shined a spotlight on right where you are right there. 
right where you are, right there. 